Hello, we're back with Circle Healing Network. And thank you again for tuning in as always. I'm trusting that you're enjoying the journey along with me with the various topics that continue to come up. And today um, I'm back with Ilya Kostova, who is in Bulgaria. She's a medical doctor as well as a alternative um, specialist in all types of modalities. I don't even really like to use the word alternative any longer because I believe that it's side by side, you know, um, both of them work together well. So, um, and today's topic though, Ilya and I have been talking a lot offline and we talk a lot about the female energy. She really speaks a lot about her interest in mother earth as with me too. Um, and the female energy. So today we decided to do a show on Mother Earth and, and the connection to the human race and how the female energy is apparent in both men and women, you know, because we know we're both, for us to be balanced, we carry both our male and our female energy. And a society that's balanced, they have people that is balanced with that, is a society that operates at its ultimum. So today, that's what we're going to talk about. Um, and so without further ado, I will bring on Ilya and um, we'll just begin to talk about it. And, you know, we'll cut in every now and then just to get some clarification. But hi, Ilya. How are you doing today? Hi. Hello, guys. I'm uh, so happy to be with you in my birthday. So you Oh, that's like, why well, happy birthday. <laughs> I so forgot we talked about it earlier. <laughs> so, so, we were, I was going to say, did you want to come on, Ilya, on your birthday? You're like, no, 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 the big party. No, on. no. And I will tell you why. Because like a woman, Taurus, for us, it's so important, Mother Earth. You know, you're grounded uh, astrology style, and we appreciate everything who is connected with Mother Earth. So for me, it's so important on my birthday to represent and to speak about Mother Earth. This is Mother for all of us. So that's why I just done everything so quick today <laughs> and to be able to be with you on the, the Ruby show and to speak about the Mother Earth, finally. And the right. female. <laughs> and so what we'll do is today what Ilya has, she has some illustrations, some things that she's actually drawn that she will show. And we've talked about, we'll do more on this because it's impossible to cover it all over the next hour and a half. But yeah, it's a big um, topic. So we'll do a series on this um, because it's really important that we connect with this. So today, we're going, she's going to show a lot of illustrations that she has. And then moving forward, we'll do some PowerPoints. And there'll be information that's up on your site, Ilya, um, at, on your Facebook connection. And um, we'll, I'll put those at the bottom of this video so that you guys can connect with Ilya on Facebook um, and the work that she's doing. So um, go ahead, continue, Ilya. I just wanted to say that. So <laughs> so, really, I'm excited to, to hear this. Yeah. Stuff. Yeah. So Mother Earth, this is our mother for all the human race and not only for human race, but now we speak about our race like a human base. So Mother Earth, how you know, this is the living being. And um, mostly uh, during the ancient history about the Mother Earth, about the woman society, because in a uh, year, centuries before, all the women in society, they make so many earth rituals of every spring, every autumn, when they have the shortages, when they have the first men or head of women, they teach the younger lady how to be the woman. I, it means how to follow all the earth and moon cycles, what kind of energy they take from Mother Earth from moon for other planets where they represent the safe specific configuration of uh, the sky uh, they teach them in in this woman society how to be a mother how to be uh, the partners to the male but all this kind of stuff in our modern society they are forgotten and uh, they are misused in a way and by my opinion, crossing more or less around the globe, uh, I see how a different kind of social models, what they represent in different parts of the planet Earth, 
they are uh, misused, they are broken, they are not working. That uh, it, it is like all the time women in different degree, they are in, you know, on so uh, ground level of the society. They have some rights or they don't have a right or, or male treat them like they're something, you know, not that important in this and that. And if you want to raise your voice, they uh, call you, uh, you are so emancipated, you are uh, feminist, you are do, uh, and you do the wrong things, you don't behave like a woman, you are behave like a male, it is not working, you know, this kind of thing. And because all the time women feel them power and they fight for them correct level in society, they make this mistake that they jump in other corner. You know, they start to be so feminized really and what is exactly, of course, not right. So no, uh, no other, no any social model is actually natural. What was archetype, uh, what was origin for this human race to make the woman and men? Because they have archetypes, they have the specific role. They are, they are not banks to compare. They are mm -hmm. banks uh, to combine and work together to make this planet like a living bank, like a living experiment to go on with mm -hmm. this experiment, not, not to have the war between two genders. And right. actually, because uh, we forgot all this ancient knowledge, we start to compare to each other. Who is the best, woman or man? Woman or, or man? But this right. is no such thing. You know, right. in, in nature, no one animal female compare with animal male. They just know they are different. They're supposed to work together. Only in our human race, because they make this twist, and right. we, we change our belief system, and we forgot, we feel that is not correct. But with our mind, we, we, we cannot represent in our lives. So right. during the years, starts to again uh, wake up many women organization. This is like uh, mostly on the places where we have this kind of ancient knowledge still alive. Mm -hmm. In Balkans, we have in Asia, they have a lot of female societies. In in South America, nat uh, natural Indians they have. In Africa, they have. Even they make a. Uh, one foundation of the old women. They collect different old women. Uh, they are like healers, therapists, or, or make some kind of witchcraft, but the witchcraft like, uh, how to say, it is not magic, following the natural uh, laws. And they uh -huh. make foundation and organization of all the old ladies representing all the places around the uh, around the earth. This is like society, and they start to exchange the ancient rituals mm -hmm. and to attract the youngers around the earth to teach them what is is the rules of Mother Earth, of our mother. What is the laws, natural laws? What we supposed to follow? So, right. mostly our planet is a representation of female energy. Because everything what is uh, born somewhere, born from in, something what you collect on the place, you, you collect uh, energy, you collect information. In all the languages, we say, my brain born idea. What is mean? You you collect collect is open is something grow. So yeah. in is this representation of female energy. That's why the planet like bank is a representation of female energy inside of the planet. I just make some okay. inside of of the planet. Can you see like this? Uh, I'm not so sure. Yeah, so so this is this is the planet Earth. 
Okay, yeah, yeah, I can see it. So this is the planet Earth, Mother Earth. The right. sea this is inside core. So core transform all the energy, plasma, electromagnetic field, what you want to call in different speciality, and then you born planet. Okay, so have a seed inside what collect. And then you born all the bank Mother Earth. And mm -hmm. she, this is the place what other species born. Okay. So this is the female energy, what gives life. The same if you compare with the woman. Is the woman, this is the womb. Lift it up some. Lift it up some. This is the woman, this is the womb. In, right. in womb of the woman, you collect a seed. Yes. And this seed become a living bank. So the the male bank cannot do that. The male bank give the seed, but cannot grow the seed. Right. Right. Female what this is like a storage bank, store energy, store information, store seed. It give a worm to this seed have the right conditions to grow, to give life. Mm -hmm. The same thing is like a tree. Each tree grow from seed. You have a seed, the seed get right conditions inside of the soil, and from this seed grow the tree plant. Mm -hmm. You understand? So yeah. that's why Mother Earth, like a lot, and the female body, they are more or less the same. They follow the same rules. So in human race, females, they are representation of Mother Earth. That's why we give birth. That's why we, we are so connected with Mother Earth. We, we like to, uh, to care about the gardens. We like to cook. We like to care about the children. The same what Mother Earth do for us. We born from Mother Earth. She give us plants to eat. She care about us with conditions around to be safe, to nothing happen to us like a kid of Mother Earth. So that is so close connection. Have many different kind of explanations uh, and correlation with the structure of the planet mm -hmm. and the structure of the female body and the womb. It's regarding different speciality. You, we can we, uh, we can mention the psychology. We we can mention the physics. We can mention metaphysics, plasma technology. But it's really so huge topic. In, in this video, we just make a point, and then we 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 are able to go deeper if the people wants to know. So the the first point is that female body. This is the same like Mother Earth. So Mother Earth is representing the female energy and females like human race will represent the female energy like Mother Earth. Then what's going on? When you have a seed, you have to take a seed. From where to take this, this seed? From something with have a young energy. This young energy force, vector energy, this is the male bank. Male bank have uh, this young force uh, supposed to hunt, uh, supposed to act, supposed to give a motion. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that's why uh, if you look even the body of the females and the men in genital area, we have the organs on specific place and shape because of this in and yang energy. For mm -hmm. females, the genital organ is out of the body. It is on the shape of vector. Go somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Go somewhere. No, it's right. out of in female body, genital area, it is inside of body because it's take and keep. Right. Okay. To grow. You understand? So mm -hmm. uh, regarding the chakra system, I will mention like this. Regarding the chakra system. Female body and the male body, we have the same chakra system, but it's working in a different way when we have a communication between us. So in ancient woman society, what mother teach the daughter, 
or the uh, all the ladies of uh, the tribe teach the girls it is like that how the female body communicate with male body because they have different roles mm -hmm. archetypes different roles so female body first chakra represent is this representation of genital area this is the genital organ of the man what is outside of the body first chakra gives you existence okay how you exist on mother earth how you are able uh, to survive to be on place to take uh, uh, to be safe to exist and to guarantee existence of your offspring so female body from first chakra because of that the organ is outside of the body goes inside of the female body so the first energy transport is from first chakra of the man to first mm -hmm. chakra to the woman and, and, and that's why the sperm this is the first uh, liquid would have amorphic fields inside is poor plasma so this amorphic liquid go inside of the woman mm -hmm. then it go up to the womb womb this is the second chakra second chakra where you collect the energy from first and you give a birth you you give is something newborn from mm -hmm. you so woman take energy from first chakra of male or of men and collect to second mm -hmm. then from her second chakra she give energy to the second chakra of the man okay That's why the woman charge men during the coupling men give you the safety to exist it's not charging you that they misuse so men guarantee that he will support you to survive and exist with offsprings this is his uh, archetype uh, role to support the female he's not um, how to say the main role of planet earth have a female bank male bank so uh, supposed to support the female mm -hmm. because female give a birth female give a new life to guarantee that to happen on safe place and safety this is the role of men so let me ask you real quick yes so what you're saying is based upon this check second chakra the exchange I, I will write you like this uh, on the one the picture from birth um and and in that birth but the creation the procreation process so the, when a lot of a lot of um psychologists and stuff say that women desire in relationship security safety these type of things and when men yeah. give those to women in relationships it makes for a good bond and you're saying that this is archetypal from just the role of our bodies and our chakra systems this is yeah. the root of why we have this desire to yes. be protected and okay good i just wanted to because we we yeah. hear that a lot and you never yes. really hear the terminology of yes. how does and, this happen and when we finish all the chakras i will tell you why you're supposed to do this kind of things everything okay. have a explanation just to write uh, schematically here for people to be able uh, to see more is so it's like this can you see yeah just just there you go that's good i can see it okay. yeah this is the female this is the male Mars, mm -hmm. and Hera. oh okay so from female body first chakra give to first chakra of the female mm -hmm. female collect in second chakra and give it back during the coupling to the second chakra of male Mm -hmm. female body this is the energy store energy station so right. all the men during the coupling take energy only for female we take the energy from mother earth directly and 
take a universal from space energy our mm -hmm. body work like females take less amount of the space energy inside of them mostly they take from female because we are like batteries that's why uh, in, in genes of the male is written to searching for women they search mm -hmm. from energy they search from batteries to to take the energy to collect in them so here you on that direction you may recognize different kind of behavior mm -hmm. so mostly people when they have equal resonance level men and female they are coupling and make one together one energy system together you cannot match to different people on one time you cannot match to john uh, or uh, to ivan or to george or whatever on the same time you have vibrational level with one being not with one thousand the same right. is with men <laughs> men cannot match with 10 women in one time you understand this is not vibrational match so when men starts to need more energy and more energy and more energy because his second chakra cannot hold the energy what he take from the female he mm. has the intention to search more and more and more for our society what our belief system uh believe and know that we need sex we call this sex okay right. but no one get the idea under it it means that this man cannot hold the energy what he takes Got just it. he take it and the energy goes out link it and all the time this chakra is hungry and he's searching for more and more and more and more so the first degree we call in medical language promiscuity searching for many women from this the yeah. second yes for the second degree when the chakra goes more broken this is the back door of the chakra not the the up to uh chakras has the the door in front of and door on your spine so mm -hmm. this is from the back when the chakra starts to link more and more and more you get the erectile dysfunction when oh. it starts to be broken totally you get the impotency gotcha wow. you understand so yeah. everything when you look the behavior of females or men you have energy explanation but that i said in our society is so is so misused people don't wow. think and and that other guys use it and make up a mind you know make a sexology and sex like a cult this is like a manufacturing of all the industry under this world what is actually sick because how much you manufacture and um, push up one disease this the disease right okay? so the broken chakra is disease uh, the promiscuity is disease erectile dysfunction is disease you may uh, open how many sex shops you want it is not eradicate the disease it just uh, support the disease right do you understand but it's yeah, not that's only that yeah yeah they, yeah they make uh, all the industry to support mm -hmm. the disease do you understand because they don't need the healthy people they need the broken pieces right you understand mm -hmm. so then we when if the man is healthy from the second chakra he take the energy to his third and give on his from his third to the female third it's give her right to uh, express herself third chakra is communication with outer world to not this lady this is like in some um, countries hiding at home have no rights uh, have no voice she, it's like she doesn't exist on this society you know so now at this point wouldn't that third chakra be 
his heart chakra, which gives her permission to communicate, is what you're saying, right? No, her chakra is the solar plex. Okay, so that's the solar plexus. Yes, and so solar plex. So, so that's yeah. giving her permission to, to, to be her. To exist, to be, to be uh, the equal partner with the man. Okay, got you. Okay, you makes sense. So when the man is sick, woman cannot take the enough energy. So she takes energy for her second chakra and make to feed her third chakra. And many women, because of that transfer, get a lot of diseases like womb fibrosis, like ovary polykystosis, many female organ diseases because the second chakra for them is empty. Gotcha. So yeah. when, when they when they have a healthy third chakra they take the energy from third and go to fourth only female can give a lot just that you have to remember because we have a mother instinct we give a lot to the man we nourish him with our love he nourish us with um he nourishes us, how to say, like a females that um, with our survival, to guarantee our survival in our spring from first chapter. And we give the gift back, loving him. Right. That makes so much sense. Oh, my goodness. And, then, and nourish him with our love. And when the female loves the man, he feels like a king. He, he yes. feels like he can jump nine mountain and do the job. He just right. get a wink, winks, you know, like yes. that. And to be grateful, this man transform the energy from his fifth chakra to her fifth chakra. It means that you are my equal partner. We do job together. You have a right the same like I have. And you have to, and 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 you have a, a voice to express yourself. What when this line is, is broken, many women get the thyroid glands diseases. Many have uh, some kind of diseases of her neck and throat. Where it, this is the five chakra. If mm -hmm. it, if this is the kit, for example, in home kit, uh, when they suppress it. To express themselves, they get a sore throat. Right. You understand? This is the yeah. suppression of express yourself. Right. Someone dominating you. So in the in 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 the partnership, female men, females more get the thyroid gland. You know, I cannot say anything. <laughs> exactly. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah, I do. This so, is great. This is good <clears throat> stuff. Go ahead. So, if it's, everything is healthy, then these two uh, men and female they get the sixth chakra together. They make one new bank. They make a new common energy field, which is the double stronger than each one. Wow. And in occultistic job, they call this even during the coupling, when you have a partner. This is not just a, a sex for a night. This right. is the yeah. vibrational equal match between two beings, filled with love, unconditional, without conditions. And they make, during the coupling, a new energy bank with what we call egregor, new egregor. They push them kundalini above both of them and they trigger them epiphys, hippophys, what we call antakarana in Reiki, that place. Kundalini just push that place and increase the consciousness. So mm -hmm. both of them, they jump to the next level of consciousness. Mm. And in that coupling, they are able to reach other levels of consciousness together. Because separately, they are less powerful than together. 
So it's the synergy of the couple coming together. It's very synergistic. Yes. Yeah. yeah, that is the, the that is the real existence of female and men, not to compare themselves, to make right. a coupling, healthy one, and that's why, for example, in it Eastern, reminds me of the it reminds me of the yin and yang symbol. Yeah, you know this how is those two come yes. together, as a couple, and they make the whole. Yes, wow. you're supposed to make a couple, but right. this is in healthy way. So what they uh, what they say in is when you meet your vibrational level equal partner, you need one or three months just to be with him, to talk, to share the thoughts, to share the environment, to share the habits. Why? Because during one or this one or three months. This mm -hmm. both energy system, they adjust to each other. Wow. Then all mm -hmm. your chakras adjust to the chakras of the uh, other one to match, to not be like this or, or like this. Gotcha. Uh -huh. So after you get it and after you connect your fourth chakra with his fourth chakra, you, you get the love connection, unconditional love. Mm -hmm. Then you materialize this love through your second chakra. Then you make a coupling. You make the physiology working. Mm -hmm. And then you get this picture. Wow. You understand? That's so our society is opposite. First, we make coupling on the physicality, second mm -hmm. chakra. And then we're waiting. To fall in love. It's impossible. Yes. And that's why it's not working. It's just why it's not working. Because right. it's not physiology. Everything is twisted. Everything is vice versa. And First then you know, you, like, the other thing I want to say real quick too while you're talking there, just to, to you know, to share with the audience as we're talking about this, this is also um this has been mi mixed up by design because it used to be a time in society where men were taught to support the family, to help with safety, help with survival, not to go out and be the one that's got to do all the working. We're not saying that, but to be the primary person who takes care of everything, which frees the woman up. But then with the women feminist, women's liberation, all that stuff to me, messed that up because it made women also go out and start working the same way, but still taking care of the house, doing double, a double job, but well, four jobs, <laughs> four jobs, yeah. And then what happened is that it over time eroded the role of the male to be more of a provider. So now, so often, men are not really getting the providing survival piece. Not to say you're the only one who works in the relationship, I don't believe that either. I think women work too, but to be the primary person to make sure that home is taken care of. When that happens, it does create safety and survival, a uh, uh, safety and security in women. And you do then exchange show love to the male that makes him feel like the king. But that, that second chakra has gotten out of line on this planet so that men are not being uh, rewarded for continuing their role of helping to be but the relationships that you see that men do operate like that, where they do provide for the woman, they do take care of the family, they are that base, you do see strong relationships that seem to stay together no matter what that couple goes through. I've noticed that, so that's good. Yes, and that's why they make uh, so much advertising of the homosexuality. It's not mean that is something wrong. Everyone born, and uh, take care about the mission what come to the earth, but it's not uh, it's no it's no one representing the heterosexuality like they like uh, they represent the homosexuality. Why? Even uh, around the world was years where there was a fashion. I'm a heterosexual, but I will say that I'm homosexual. I will do everything to show that I'm homosexual because I, I will get the benefits of something. Right. You understand? So twisting the chakra coupling and working, they try to make the sick society. 
and make actually the weak men, weak men, and the weak women, because if they uh, do a uh, musculization of the women, they get sick. Yes. If I become a, a man, it, 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 it means that all my natural female chakras, they are disharmonized. And all my hormones will freak it out. And, and you get mostly ma masculine disease in a woman. And right. now they start to the same. They get female disease in the men. So give me an example of some um, male diseases in women and vice versa for men, so our audience can connect with that. I will tell you one my famous experiment, what I done before years. I just worry why someone is homosexual from beginning and why one man is not. For mm -hmm. me, it was two patients. One was with obesity and erectile dysfunction, which is... 100% heterosexual and was, you know, um, so sad that he is not able to be a 100% man. Other one was a heterosexual man, never been with females, don't like it, and completely man shape, form, muscles, athletic body. If you see them, you cannot say that he is homosexual, no right. manners, no manners like this, nothing like this, total mm -hmm. man, if you see, perfect one. So I just worry, why this one is like this, and this one is like this. Right. And then I make all the hormonal investigation, all, of one, what is homo, and other one, what is hetero, but sick with female disease, like obesity, like a gynecomasty, you know? Some kind so, of. Uh, what was the second one you said? Obesity and what else? Obesity, gynecomastia. They start to grow the, the breast. Okay, okay, got you. Uh -huh. Gynecomastia. So, an erectile dysfunction, it, it is also uh, less uh, testosterone and go up the estrogen. Got because you. the testosterone and estrogen, they come from uh, the gland above the kidney, adrenal gland. And they have a common precursor. This common precursor splits to testosterone and estrogen. Gotcha. Understand? Okay. Yep. So even you are a man, you have amount of testosterone and amount of estrogen. But they have a healthy ratio. You are a female, you have more estrogen, but you have also the testosterone. Again, you have a ratio. Mm -hmm. You understand? When you get disease, you twist. You get more testosterone, less estrogen, like a female, and like a man, vice versa. You understand? Mm -hmm. So when I make this investigation, the homosexual guy was completely perfect with all the hormones. All men hormones from hypophys to the down was in complete in a totally 100% healthy state. Mm -hmm. Other one man what was heterosexual, all the hormones and ratio between them was like I, I, I told you, twisted. Wow. Estrogen is up, testosterone is down. Mm -hmm. And some hormones which is reg uh, have regulation of the adrenal glands from the hypophys was in ratio like a female. Wow. You understand? Yeah. So all these guys have an emotional background. And because this emotional background, they have a different uh, expression and disease. All, all this showing you which one chakra is broken and how. I told you the second chakra represents the the erectile dysfunction or impotency. If this guy have it, it means the second chakra is kaput. When it is kaput, estrogen go up and testosterone go down because the second chakra rule adrenal gland. So is there a reason why men have a tendency when they move into their 50s to start having this, um, this erectile dysfunctional and then impotency? Is it a time thing that they kind of wear themselves out and it just sort of, or 
Is it a way that they can guard themselves against that? You know, it seems like you hear that a lot. Yeah, just they have to take care about them health. Mm -hmm. You understand? After 50, they are so busy to make a money business or whatever social life they do. They don't care about them health. They don't notice because even they don't know. No one man knows that he have to take care about this and that, this and that, how we spoke before about the chakra. They mm -hmm. don't know. Mm -hmm. they, and, and no one doctor will tell you. They will just give you the pills, pumps, Viagra or whatever. No one yeah. can think what is why is like that right understand? and also it depends which with uh with um partner with who you are living if this healthy man living with the sick female and this sick female broke his chakras they're disharmonized if you live in disharmony 20 years because mostly people get married 20 25 30 Okay, up to 50 is 20 years marriage. And if you have this harmonic relationship, your body becomes disharmonic. Now, can this also happen, let's say, back to our earlier point, if two people come together in a relationship, let's say they're living together for, like you say, 15, 20 years, this, this starts happening, these various um, disease and imbalances in the chakra begin to happen. Could it also happen when the woman in the relationship takes too much of the male role, i.e. survival, um, paying bills, all that, and the man does less of it? Yes. Can that this also is again, it, not it, healthy. Yeah, this is not healthy coupling. This is like men take role of the female and vice versa. Right, the, gotcha. This is not energy comes from him first chakra to her. Right. This is she take the energy for her first chakra from second and she is not able to charge him back from her second because it's empty right you understand so yeah. she, he, he he is this in energy hunger all the time right you understand because initially he didn't got her energy in her first so what to do body Take from above, take from above, take from above. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Do you understand? Yeah, but exactly. But when you have a partner, sense. you make a coupling, so he gets sick too. Because you have right. energy exchange. When the bonding is during the, the sex and with blood, you bond with someone. You're all the time in energy exchange. Even right. if you don't see this person anymore in your life, if you don't cut this energy bond between your body, mm -hmm. it all the time exists in an energy transfer goes. Right. So if this next, if this partner, ex of you, take other relationship with others, all your energy goes through this is like a spiral net and, and you all the time feel like this you know yeah yeah because you become energy store energy back instead of one of 100 oh my goodness so before we end the show uh, towards the end of this i want you to be able to tell people how they can break the ties from old relationships i'm sure people are sitting here listening to this right now and thinking Okay, great. I probably have some relationships. I need to be breaking some ties so I can get clean again and move forward. So I want you to be able to tell people how to do that as well. But continue. I didn't want to. I didn't want to forget that. Yeah. So uh, the coupling be between the men and, and female is so important. That's why in in ancient knowledge they call art the art of sex. Sex now is so cheap word. You understand but this is art this is energy work this is not just hello bye and this is like the hindu tantric um uh, tantrics you know yeah um, now they call now they call tantra yeah but tantra. tantra you are able to do without coupling this is like right. energy transfer between two bodies that okay. is the real tantra it's not mean coupling we speak about coupling 
but first supposed to be energy match vibrational level then you have exchange of fourth chakra and then you have realization of love in physical level mm -hmm. second chakra because the for uh, the second chakra and fourth chakra they are coupled got you and, and if you know that you may get many explanation of different behavior of sick men for example where they have erectile dysfunction or impotency what what they like to do more when the uh, demo organ is not working they like to kissing all over uh -huh. do you know why because tongue is expression physical expression sensor uh -huh. organ of heart I got that's you. why they use tongue to stimulate the heart and this fourth chakra gets energized and from fourth chakra they get energy to second that's why they like to kissing ah, I see. and all for them kissing for all the places on your body right we know <laughs> exactly <laughs> they understand yeah. why that's why it's called oral. I got you. Yes. But it makes yes. sense. I never thought about it like that, but I see yeah. what your point is. Yeah. 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 Because, uh, and then when you watch uh, some person, for example, for us, because we are healers patient, you are able to recognize for good morning all the diseases, how he comes inside of your clinic, what he say, this and that. You just make energized analysis of energy level. Which one chakra correspond with which one? What is broken front, back, or whatever? What is the relationship at home and this and that? Mm -hmm. Understand? But it's important to people to put in their minds and to not make excuses. You cannot match with one hundred people in same time. Right. You get one vibrational level. I am, for example, one hundred hertz. For example. You are 99.48. We are close. You understand? But around me, it's only you were able to match with me. Other one is 96.1, 85. Point, do you understand? I don't match with them. Right. You understand? So how, so, how, do, you, how do people discover that vibrational match? In the beginning, does the body give you signals or something? I mean, because we all think, yes, oh, we body. Think, oh, this is my soulmate. Oh, 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 we all go through that, and then it wasn't. So, <laughs> soulmate, I, I will tell you for the soulmate just to understand. When you descend, you compress the energy from higher levels to seven, and you you decide to be on the earth. This is 3D, for example. You higher self state on seven level. This is your soul half because half of your soul descend to play the game on the 3d oh. like a human mm -hmm. other half staying above to rule you and to be sure that you fulfill the mission what you promised before you understand okay. so that's why they say that you have a, uh, a silver net with your higher self High, your higher self is your health. That's why all the time we searching for our health and we never find. It's impossible because other health is there. Got so it. real meaning of soul made mean the vibrational state of soul close to yours. It's not your health. It's impossible. Right. And also, it is, is not meaning to be with, with someone who is 100% match to you because you cannot teach him anything, he cannot teach you anything. But mm -hmm. you come to earth to learn something or to teach one some or to teach something someone. So, so why, why do people, why do we as, uh, as humanity have a difficult time finding someone that's a similar like you say 98.2 or 93 point yeah because we don't follow the rules we first materialize the things before we exchange them energetically we yeah, work so low we yeah. we work on the level of first and second chakra we work on the 100 through 
200 has vibrational level. We put all the love feeling so low. You understand? The love like a vibration is above five, 528 hertz. hertz yeah. First, you have to exchange this electromagnetic field and then when they, you get a coupling, then to materialize them. And then both Kundalini goes and make the torus. Right. If, if you work only in the first and second chakra, you get this torus between one and, and, and second. Right. The yes. Kundalini is not going up, it's not evolution, it's nothing. And nature just cut this relationship because it's not evolution, it's just nothing happened. Right. It's that not makes a sense. result from this. Yes. Understand? And also the electromagnetic field of heart is, is 5,000 uh, times more uh, stronger than the mind. So feel, when you feel that you have a match, it's showing you. You feel calm with this person. You feel nice. It's not irritating you. Even if it's something which is not matching to your habit, you normally explain to this person other one understand you it is not conditions between you mm -hmm. I, I i'm not condi for example it's many things you supposed to have this 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 or to fulfill this kind of task then 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 i'll right. be with you yeah 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 it's not love no love is unconditional it's right. no conditions is empathic way of existence you do everything a other one to evolve doesn't matter it's good for you or not right that is love to make your boundaries white to exclude your ego and to use only your heart to help the other one to evolve right right that is love mm -hmm. yes i can see i see what you're saying I, that makes sense so that's why relationship in this broken society is not working because they are bonded on the conditions what they call love and then they realize them physically and they they waiting to something happen someday somewhere right right it's right possible because you put on the beginning low down right you cannot realize you you cannot get from 100 hertz 500 500 goes to 100 but 100 can jump to 500 i see that makes so much sense Ilya. wow I understand yeah so everything is simple when you know the natural way. That's why I say that our society is broken. The role of female is unique. The role of man is unique. We are right. not here to compare. We are here to bond and to give a birth to the next bank. Right. Can be next bank can be even idea next bank can be new theory next bank can be uh human right you understand yeah so so when you were doing your your research on the heterosexual male and the homosexual male and you found the homosexual male to be healthy in his chakra system his chakra pillar but the heterosexual one wasn't why well, yeah. why did why do you feel that was the case why was that the case his discuss? case was from uh, from his childhood, emotional wounds. So the relationship with the lady, what he get at the moment, just trigger this emotional wounds. Was like a sick relationship, you know. What is triggering childhood wounds? And everything is like uh, in one day just fired, boom. You right. Understand? So all the time, you, 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 when you uh, diagnose what is the um, state of uh, the energy system, then you're searching what was the cause. 
and you go to the coast, you, you, uh, you repair for the coast, and then you build new chakra system and new, new energy level. Because chakras, they are, uh, they are like a storage bank for specific frequency. First chakra store the frequency 100 to 200 hertz. Second store from 200 to 400, whatever. They storage bank in specific frequency. It right. means that that frequency level of electromagnetic spectrum for you is not working. So you're supposed to repair, um, repair because you need all the stages of this electromagnetic spectrum to exist. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So and then, the what, so what was your comparison? Why were you comparing the homosexual and the heterosexual male? What, what because would, what this is the one man body. You have one man body and yeah. one and one we call homosexual and we expect to be more female, you know? Right. But actually all the hormones, they are totally like a pure, natural, heterosexual man because yeah. his energy system is totally healthy and he was even yoga instructor got you the so, uh, other one is broken pieces right <laughs> i see and that's really interesting i know what you mean because you know you kind of look at the outward i mean there there are a lot of men who are who are heterosexual and they're they're males you know but they have more of a effeminate personality but people think, oh, he must be homosexual. Doesn't mean he's, it, it, no, and he also no. doesn't have to be out of balance. It's just he may have more of that kind of, so we kind of look at this external to make a determination about where yes. a person is in terms of their health Absolutely. and in terms yeah. of their spiritual and soul um, well-being. Yeah, also metaphysical explanation about the homosexuality is that uh, you need that experience for your soul. Right. It's like you get agreement in advance that you, you want to experience this because right. in the beginning fetus don't have a gender right gender comes at last months and first is female okay and, and then can tra uh, transform to to male gender all right. the fetuses on the on the middle part of um, the womb uh, development, they are females all. And the last month, they separate to, to stay females or to get milk. Right. F from the big labia from the testis and from the clitoris from the penis. So even you know, nature show you that the beginning is female energy. And you know what's so true about that? I just think about my own uh, experience with um, pregnancy and birth. And I remember my, my oldest daughter, when I was pregnant with her, about the third month or so, I mean, I believed in letting my children, kind of connecting with their soul and letting them name themselves. So around the third or fourth month, um, I was reading a book on Egyptology and the word, the name Shen, S-H-E-N, came up. Mm -hmm. And I heard her little soul say, that's my name in this lifetime. And I'm like, and it was really a male name in ancient Egypt. But I said, well, it's a male name. No, that's my name. So that was her name. From then on, from, you know, in the womb, she was Shen. When she was had her baby shower, all her gifts had her name on it. And I never had uh, the, the doctor tell me the sex. I just knew it was a, a she. When my son, two years later, when I was pregnant with him, I'm waiting, 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 waiting. No name, no nothing. Don't know. People say, what do you think he's going to be? I said, I don't know. Um, on and on and on. Literally, literally to your point, I was in the eighth month and I was taking the nap. And my son comes to me in a dream state and he tells me his mission and he tells me his name and he spells it. Yes. I thought, wow, that's good to know now. You know what I mean? And, yeah, because um, finally, finally he forms. Right. And it's like so funny. I always thought about those two things. What was the difference? Why one was so fast? 
one took a while and now just he, medically and metaphysically you've just explained that and that's that's really fascinating yeah yeah i can see like that mm -hmm. that makes easy, sense. you know so when you know everything is easy to think no <laughs> yeah, yes, i know and i agree with you i'm a big believer and you know you and i think a lot like this and i know people differ in in their opinions about what i'm getting ready to say but i believe that you know if we just go with the very first thing that most religions no matter what it is if it's islam or christianity or buddhism they all basically say not to judge and i think it's so important not to judge people in their life because i too believe that whatever we choose to do in this lifetime, it's a soul agreement to experience that for our soul self. And so when we get so deep into religions that some, oh, it's a sin for homosexuality. Oh, it's this, it's against nature. It's all these things. Well, if it's happening, it's happening for a reason. And because we are just a fraction of this physical body, we're just a small fraction of it, Whatever we're experiencing, we must have agreement. We must be having agreement with our higher self, you know, to experience yes, this. So I agree with you there. Yeah, but and also no need other guys to use this kind of things for advertising of their agenda because they manipulate with this. They manipulate. You understand? It. Yeah. So you have a mission. You 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 have a mission, but it's no need someone to manipulate with uh, all the knowledge what they have because. How I say, these guys have a lot of knowledge. We're stupid because we don't know. Because, but they have it. They manipulate us with this. Yeah, I mean, and we think about it. Yeah, I mean, for years, I mean, our all societies are set up on pinning one thing against the other. So you know, it's you know, uh, class against class, or money against money race against race you know and then the, like say female against male male against male female against female you know it's like yes. keeping these divisions of constant you have to, you have to keep you low rest. you can't even yeah. rest because you see another person in your gender and now you got to worry oh is he or she gay oh who you know you can't yeah all the time also, all the time to be afraid and to stay on level of first and second chakra what in balkans we call these three things eat go to toilet and uh sex these yeah. three things just <laughs> that you know <laughs> <laughs> it, and that's exactly. chakras is it, it's not working they don't need you know <laughs> exactly so uh we've been going we've actually been going on over an hour right now if you believe it or not okay. so Probably what we should do is wrap it up because you are very late. It's probably almost midnight there for you, just about. Yeah, it's midnight. Oh my goodness, you are such it's a true okay. so for coming off. <laughs> but um, so, what's a good way for people to clear themselves? What do you tell your clients to clear themselves of old relationships, energy? Just some tips for people can walk away with after listen to this video. Okay, how do I get myself clear? How do I, you know? Yeah, have yeah. so many uh, tips and for women and for men. And I offer you to make one video for woman rituals. They call this okay. woman ritual. They are some okay. kind of specific. I will give you common for two genders, common okay. things, but common okay. person can do. So one of the one thing what can do is to make the south bath 10 days south okay. bath with the sea salt and with the uh, epsom salt okay salt bath with sea salt and, epsom. Yeah, but, and to stay 15 minutes inside only Look for 10 days yeah, yeah every day 15 minutes only inside and they go out and just dry and that's it okay if can uh put uh, the head inside of the salt bath, it's okay. okay. Other things is uh, to uh, increase his vibrational level, to bless. You can be so angry to other person, you can be so disappointed, but arise your vibrational level to love and bless him, thanks okay. him for everything what you share with this person, everything what you, he, he, uh, he, he or she 
teach you and vice versa because everyone with who you met in your life it's your mirror right it's your reflection it's reflect what you cannot see in yourself you understand and that's yes. why mostly you get angry and this is that because you see yourself because the same person when communicate with other person is completely different one right. you understand so that's why bless him and thanks him other what you you can do and to imagine the womb cord you know mother cord from yeah. your uh the umbilical woman. cord like the yes. Where yes. that will come from? Yes, yes. So with that kind of cord be, uh, between your both third chakra, you are connected with other person. Imagine the green laser. This is like uh, you know Jedi laser. This is like yeah. this yeah. Jedi laser. You just cut this cord, cut, and most of the time you feel that you cannot cut from one shot. You just do like this, you know, cut, 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 cut. This is so strong, you know, cut. So, and then with the, you imagine the green fire, how you disinfect this wound. Oh. Do you understand? Yes. And you make like a stump on yourself. You say, I close myself from that connection. Thank you very much. Bless okay. you. Ever have to bless and to thank and then for like a 20 days you really feel the pain like from real wounds you yes. feel it you feel that this is like coming from your envelope or to the solar plex you feel like real bleeding wound right if you feel that other person starts to connect with you again because they feel hungry for energy that you cut this Court, you know, mm -hmm. they start to call you, or the, uh, or you, you feel them in your mind. You, you feel the thoughts of them. You cut again because the cortis is like, you know, uh, like plasma just starts yeah, to sell. Yeah, it goes away. Oh, again, so it's kind of yeah, again, back. just to connect again. Yeah, <laughs> like like this. little so just, yes, Yeah, I, again, just cut. Boom, again. You know, you. you, you you have to cut and put yourself inside of the blue bubble okay blue bubble is like blue egg this is still protecting you you make a protecting shield and after the blue bubble you you put the mirror mirrors all over you mirrors mirrors okay imagine mirrors you just shielded from mirrors you know got you and, and and you say what you send to me i give you back 100 times more and thank you got you you understand this is the wow. common this is even these techniques they are written in reiki in some other places specific texts from the women they call the women knowledge so right. they are more white, you know? Mm -hmm. So they need more time. I, I cannot say for two words. Because right. there are some kind of exercises, mudras, and this and that. The and easy do, tricks. Well, like you said, the next show we'll do it on the women's ritual. We yeah. can do a show on that. Yeah. Yeah, just for women rituals, and they call the uh, rituals of Aphrodite. Yeah, got you. Yeah, they are the specific yeah. rituals for women. Well, we'll definitely do that because I mean, you know, truthfully, and I'm not saying this to you just because you and I are friends, but I'm gonna tell you something. That's the best explanation I've ever heard of the, that describes so many problems and challenges that men and women have in relationships as to why it's happening and i mean you know you're brilliant in that you have this medical degree so you understand allopathic medicine but you're also reiki master and you also do all yes. these other energetic modalities and you've just done this beautiful melding of both so people can see from a medical side this is why yes. this is going on this is yeah and this then, kept on like this right you know this is your speciality 
And mm-hmm. I mean, that's really a good way of breaking it down. So um, I'm sure that this has really helped a lot of people just by listening to this, um, begin to understand the dynamics that's going on in relationships. And because right now Mother Earth is really trying to, not only she's healing herself, but she's healing the inhabitants while she heals herself, which is why we feel so much earth energy. And that's why we're feeling yeah. so much that's going on in the earth. And she's looking to heal both all of us at the same time. And um, so this is a very important topic because I know more and more people are, what you hear more and more people saying, they're just trying to get back to the basics or, you know, people are in relationships for 20 years and they find, they wake up one day, they're in completely different places. But as before, people were like, well, let's just break up and go their separate ways. So many people are now really trying to come back together and try to figure out how do we get off track? Let's try to get back on track again. Because I think people are starting to realize the importance of not just being disposable, not disposable relationships, disposable lives, disposable everything, you know? And I, I, I credit Mother Earth for, you know, the energies that are coming up from there. So I look forward to more series on this because um, I know this is good. I mean, a lot of people want to know this. I know I get questions. Yeah, and also the the conscious level of mother ever transcend to the kids in human race. The same right. with, with Mother Earth. When Mother Earth change, first change the female's consciousness and then the male consciousness. You understand? Right. It's like right. from mother, to kids, so it's impossible he, she to change Mother Earth and we to stay safe. Right, right. You understand? And yeah. ever when to me come to my clinic, mother with kid and kid is sick, I start to heal the mother first because That's when the mother is healthy, kid automatically get healthy. Wow, how awesome is that? That makes so much sense. Yeah. You understand? Yes. Yeah. This is because yeah. for her belief system, her wounds, and this and that, she projects to kid. You understand? And kid starts to suffer. Healthy mother, healthy kid. Healthy kids, exactly. Makes all the sense. The same the with Mother Earth. Healthy Mother Earth, healthy human race. Right. That's why we have to save the planet to save the human race. Cannot exactly. save the human race without mother earth and we don't want to leave the mother earth no we don't any price and any any price and that's another part of the disinformation you know i always say that the disinformation that the truth um group you know group or the truthers you know it's a shell game because you have we know that this over here is not the truth in the beginning then the truthers come out and they try to tell the truth but then the disinformation comes out against the truthers and it's this huge circle that's created and people now don't really know what's the truth, what isn't the truth. And so I say that because, you know, everybody thinks, oh, this, the salvation is for a UFO to come down and everybody jump on the UFO and go somewhere else. No, no. not to say that we have, we have star brothers out there that are helping Mother Earth, but the point is not to leave it. The point Why is, you have to leave your home? Someone who yeah. stole your home. I tell people, don't look up, look down. The answer is down. But see, also this whole thing about disclosure, that's the fool you and get you confused again. Because now you think, oh, I'm waiting for them to tell us about the UFOs, waiting for them to tell us about this. They got to tell us about it because we know they're up there. And so now everybody is over there and Mother Earth is down here crying and screaming to get our attention. Of course. This and is so good to feel this thing. It's so good real estate everyone wants. Yeah. That's why people are supposed to understand all the races, they live between us. That we, we don't see them, don't recognize them, they're hidden. We are brainwashed, it's different thing. Right. We yeah. don't need to leave our planet because they wait this, to stall our planet. And right. I cannot eat my traditional Bulgarian salad in Mars. And I love my salad. And I invite 
all the humans and non-humans to come to try my salad on planet Earth. I will not well, go I'll, to Mars or other else. Well, I'll because be there only on planet family. Earth is growing that much of tomatoes, cucumbers, right. parsley, onion. I don't find in other places with the same taste. So excuse me, I'm not living. Right. <laughs> and that's so true. And I think that, you know, it's, it's, you know, I just wanted to put that out there to people for people to think about it from the standpoint that, you know, that was one of the reasons why I even started this YouTube channel. And I purposely called it Circle Healing Network, you know, the circle being Mother Earth. And as you brought up, you know, um, the egg, you know, I always say my circles look like eggs. Well, they do. And a lot of my artwork has always been about the womb, the heart the mind and how these organs are so closely related in the body and when you become when you get in contact with the mother in in ourselves as female sometimes you don't know when you make a decision for your child you don't know where you're making that decision from is it from my head my heart or my womb because all those organs meld together to help us make decisions uh, your heart and your womb is the same thing Right, it is. The structure is same, the shape is the structure. The structure, shape, yes. Even if you look at the mind, that the opium, the opium, the um the fallopian tubes are the same things. Absolutely the same things, yes. Yeah. And actually this is the heart in different level. This is the heart and all of the heart in different level of your body because your body is the system the system in system in system you know right. you have different levels so like the whole line the, it's like yes. the whole line right. yes yeah, exactly. this heart is engine here other heart is engine in in uh, the pubic area other heart is engine in your brain in your brain yes there and it's there. something this is funny this came to me as an artist, you know, over time. And a lot of my art has always been about that. So when I did this channel, and I know a lot of my healing and a lot of my energy comes out through my work as an artist, even though I'm also a Reiki master and I do other energy modalities, they were all connected, I realized. And so this program is really, you know, I felt like I heard Mother Earth talking to me and saying, hey, you know, get the attention back on me you know and so a lot of what my focus is is even when we talk about things like you know you were on the first time about cash and what have you you know it's not so much about cash he just becomes an example of how you look and see imbalances see untruths see the system and how it's trying to confuse and get you off balance so that you know how to get back on the balance because it's just not one cash. There's a bunch so, of them out there. Yes, so many people like this, but yeah. I'm so grateful because that kind of people, they are test of society intelligence. Right. They, are, they, they do the great job actually because yeah. they test the society level, how much you are yeah. able to believe, to think, to accept, you know, this is test. It's like, yeah. Lacmus paper, I call this kind of people. You know, lacmus, you know, lacmus paper, what they call different colors. Yeah, the so, litmus paper, yeah, exactly. Yeah, and if so they like, don't exist, we'll, we'll, we'll not recognize the other part of coin. They right. exist to show us up part. Yeah, and I also believe that it that, that, that where we're confronting this in such, I mean, Kesh just becomes an example on mass in a big huge way of how we all get to learn the lesson fast and he's playing his role actually i mean you can't be i mean he's he's doing his soul fulfillment and yes. part of it is for you to really wake up to it is all you know um um when you you know when you think about when if something happens to one man it happens to us all you know, that's how we have to look at it. Yeah. Not just, oh, well, leave Kesh alone and uh, let him keep on ripping other people off. No, you let people know, but you still have to take personal responsibility for that was each of our lessons to keep on going to that next level of going to the fifth dimension. Because it's important for us to realize on dimensional levels, the non, because 
We live in duality. We know right now third dimension is duality. So he's good, he's bad. He's right, he's wrong. He's a scammer, he's not a scammer. That's third dimension. The bigger important lesson is for us to see how he is working or how folks like him are working in the third dimension as we move to the fifth dimension where there's non-duality. So it's not about, and you see a lot of comments on our YouTube channels and on our on our Facebook sites. I know you get them a lot. Oh, he's this, oh, he's that. Well, that's really not the purpose of us putting information out to start bashing him again. It's to think and elevate ourselves and wonder why is this information here? And then what do I do about it to continue to elevate myself, you know? Yeah, because everyone comes to admission. Yeah. If someone appears to this planet, have a mission. Have a mission to behave in a certain way. Yep. Part of your intelligence is to recognize, to analyze, to do such of things what you are able to do. Right. To, to judge this is uh, dark or this is light, it's no point because darkness is light with sleep. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so you just push on the bottom, light up. No darkness anymore. No, exactly. Precisely. Well, this has been fantastic. Thank you so, so much for You're coming out. Welcome. You know, I love talking to you. We uh, we have a good time when we talk. <laughs> and when you were talking about this one time, and you, know, you and I were uh, just on Skype talking, you start talking about this. I'm like, this is a great show. We really need to do this because you know, people need to understand exactly what you shared today. I think it's really empowering for both men and women. And it's not about, oh, we hate men and women, you know, right on for women. It's not that. It's like when we love everyone on this. It's about let's have an intelligent conversation about how do we fix this and bring balance. And I think today that's what we had. And I think any men looking at this show would be equally as empowered by what you shared as women. And I think that's really what it's about because we want everybody to be healthy and to be whole and to get of fixed. Course, you make in two parts to become one. Right. You not make two parts to compare. We're supposed to come one. Come one, exactly, exactly. So, yep. I, female cannot exist without male and vice versa. Still right. not impossible in duality. Yeah. When we become one, then we make other show. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. That's a different time. We'll be in the fifth dimension. We'll do something different. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you so, so, so much. And again, thank you to my, uh, to my viewers for, again, watching another episode of Circle Healing Network. I trust that this was empowering and you walked away with some new ideas as I know I have myself. And uh, again, I thank you. You could be doing anything else with your time, but I appreciate you being here with us today and being a part of this channel. Thank you so much for supporting it. And we'll be bringing on a few more episodes of Ilya because already um, she's given us some ideas for some more things about it. This is just part one. So again, thank you and um, have a good day. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye-bye. Thank bye -bye. you. Bye-bye.